The AHM allows us to schedule or automate log reports of the system to be sent from one email address to another. This is helpful if you want updates when there might be a system error or regularly scheduled updates on how a system is performing even when you aren't on site. The first step is to get your AHM connected to the router through which you have internet access. You can adjust your AHM's network settings by logging into the unit and navigating to Configure Unit and clicking on Network inside of System Manager. While checking the box labeled DHCP will give you quick connection to the router, it's recommended to manually set your network information to be in the same subnet as your router. This allows you to always know where the AHM is sitting on the network. Another option is selecting DHCP, but implementing IP reservations, which are typically found in your router's settings. Your AHM must be in the same subnet as your router for it to send an email with the logs. Once the AHM and the routers are on the same subnet, we can set up the email notification system. Navigate to Configure Unit and click on Email Notification. It's worth noting that the AHM itself doesn't have an email address, but will run off of the backbone of an already set up email. Setting this up may look daunting at first, but many of these fields will be supplied by your email provider of choice. We also have a knowledge base guide with several popular examples and all the information you may need on allen-heap.com. If your provider is not in the guide, searching for your email provider SMTP into your search engine should get you the results. SMTP, which stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, will likely be smtp.youremailprovider.com. On screen are a few examples, such as Outlook and Gmail. The port number is also dictated by your email provider. In this example, it's 587. The connection type, also known as the encryption type, is also dictated by your email provider. In this example, it's TLS. The auth type will almost always be auth login, unless you've created an unencrypted SMTP server on your LAN. Next, you will fill out the login details for the email address you'd like to use as the sender. Many email providers utilize two-factor authentication, which is detailed in our knowledge base article. Then plug in the name and email address of the recipient. Now we can choose what we want our triggers to be. It's recommended to use the send test email to be sure your settings are correct. Check your junk folder and allow the sender if necessary. Our available triggers are errors only, which will send an email anytime an error occurs, such as a failed connection, or errors and notifications, which will send an email at any system change. An option for none is also available if you'd prefer to schedule logs to be sent automatically at a certain time. The scheduling of this email can be set under Manage Events in System Manager, where you have 50 available events to edit. Select one event and click on Edit Selected Event. In this pop-up window, we can adjust the periodicity of the logs and whether it's at a certain time of day or a certain day of the week.